Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar. And while waiting all attendees to connect, let's get acquainted a bit. Please go to the chat and say hello, say from where you are connecting to us and watching us today. Let's have a small chat while all people are joining. Hello, Tatiana. Hi. Yeah, like, let's start with us. Uh, <laughs> let's start with small introduction from our side. Uh, my name is uh, Tatiana Fedrenchik. I am the Global Product Marketing Director here at Virtuoso. And with me today, Vasily Story, CTO of our partner, Massive Grade. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tatiana. Um, I'm, I'm very glad that we uh, we joined our forces to do this webinar uh, because uh, I find lots of value on what Virtuoso provides to Massive Grid's uh, clients. And as we discussed in the past, it would be a great idea to have a webinar so we can show uh, to everyone uh, how Virtuoso on, on Massive Grid works and especially specific benefits for SaaS providers, e-commerce providers, gaming, but, but also fintech and uh, various other industries. Um, so it's it's great to be here, and I'm looking forward to uh, to talk uh, about the advantages. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Sure. And I see that we have people from different countries, from different uh, places around the world today. That's a great international company gathered uh, here. Nice to have you all. Thank you for joining. And before moving on with our topic, I just want to mention that uh, we would like to hear your questions and uh, your comments in order to have a productive discussion. Uh, so don't hesitate to go to the chat or use question tab uh, in order to have a conversation with us. Also, this session is going to be recorded, so you will receive the link uh, afterwards to watch it again or to share it with your colleagues. And one more pleasant surprise. <laughs> At the end of the webinar, Massive Grid is going to share a special offer for all attendees. So stay with us and you will find out the details. So uh, we are going to talk today um, about rather interesting topic um, around high performance cloud infrastructure platform for ISVs agencies and startups. Uh, what demands we are getting from such types of projects? What kind of feature set and services are required to be high performing and efficient? And how we solve these needs? So all these topics we are going to cover today. And uh, uh, first of all, I understand that here we have some of our partners and customers joining this call. Uh, but also we have some newcomers, so I would like to make a short introduction of Virtuoso and uh, tell like who we are. So Virtuoso is the leading provider of infrastructure and cloud solutions, uh, uh, who first developed our own commercially available containers of technology over 20 years ago. And we have a good successful track record uh, uh, in different directions like virtualization, software defined storage, uh, hyperconvergence, and hybrid cloud in general. Uh, so, right now, uh, across uh, the whole world, we have around 600 service providers who are already offering our services, uh, our products, our solutions on top of their data centers. Also, we have some private cloud customers. And uh, if you are talking about uh, um, partners, Massive Grid is one of such partners for us. And uh, Massive Grid is using our Virtuoso application platform on top of their data centers across several countries. And I would like Vasilis to have a short introduction of Massive Grid as a company as well today. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. So formally, Good morning, good afternoon, good, good evening. We, uh, I know that we have attendees from uh, many places around the world. 
Um, welcome to our uh, webinar. Uh, we are going to show you how Virtuoso platform has helped uh, Massive Grid's clients um, deliver uh, their, their projects and host their, their applications. We have been in business for 20 years. Um, actually, September, this September, we are going to close 20 years. So Massive Grid was founded uh, September 2003. So we believe that uh, this has made us, um, in, in a good way and in a bad way, one of the most experienced providers in the market. Um, the hosting industry is an industry that we have seen that Murphy's Law uh, occurs uh, most often than in any other industry. So we have utilized this experience, this 20 years experience, to build uh, platforms that can really can help uh, our, our customers. Um, our partnership with Virtuoso is along those lines. We identified that Virtuoso is um, a very useful platform, and I will explain why. A uh, very useful platform for our customers. So this is uh, why we um, uh, we chose uh, Virtuoso to to serve uh, our customers. Today we have uh, the ability to deploy uh, our solutions to 200 locations worldwide. We have established a global presence. We serve clients in 155 countries, and we have a pretty solid track record of. Uh, like we have ratings of. 4.5 out of five stars, which is not perfect. The goal for 2024 would be to have five out of five stars. Um, we also understand the importance to provide reliable and responsive customer support. This is why we offer 24 seven support. This way we ensure that our clients have the assistance they need whenever they need it. And we are committed to customer satisfaction. Actually, there is no way that one of our customers has a problem and we cannot solve it um, and we have a great partnership also with Virtuoso on that on that front and uh, for uh, challenging situations they immediately react and we are working together and we we solve the problem I mentioned that's, that specifically that's a great mention like maybe let's talk a bit more about these challenges what what challenges uh, these customers are um, talking to you about like with what problems they are coming to you so exactly the, the, the customer the, the, the customer needs um, one challenge is the, the support we see that customers coming to us they move in from other cloud providers most of the times they don't uh, they don't receive the customer support they need they, they're just having tickets that get escalated while uh, either on, on massive grid we we solve uh, uh, any problem immediately, or if we need assistance from uh, the uh, platform manufacturer, which is Virtuoso, um, we have a direct contact, and uh, your team gets uh, uh, on on hands right right away. So uh, we have seen that the customers get a very good feeling that you know there is always somebody that can um, can really solve the problem, not just respond to the ticket. So. Uh, we have seen that <clears throat> the customers' needs are based in, you know, very simple things. Uh, one is that the businesses need simplicity. They don't want to be bogged down with complicated and convoluted processes. So this is why um, the, the platform as a service that we run um, is designed uh, from Virtuoso to be user-friendly, very easy to use interfaces, and all the workflows are very streamlined. Also, the performance was a key factor uh, to choose Virtuoso uh, for our clients. Uh, we know that our clients, they need a cloud provider that can deliver uh, in very fast speeds. Uh, the cloud provider needs to have a reliable uptime and low latency. Um, the third factor is affordability. Um, we know many businesses that went <clears throat> to the cloud and they were promised that the costs will go down and now we see that the costs are getting increased in an uncontrollable way. Uh, one of the, another reason that we chose uh, Virtuoso was that uh, the model of uh, the, the platform is pay as you use. And this is very transparent to, to the user and to the client and they can control uh, they can have full control on uh, on the costs and full visibility. Actually, you know what you are going to pay. 
Um, the fourth is the scalability. Uh, so the platform as a service solution is highly scalable and I will uh, talk about more on scalability down the road. I want to show you exactly how the scalability of the Virtuoso platform works, but also the scalability of Massive Grid works. So we can ensure that we are not going to have any st stagnate of resources uh, whenever uh, we need it. Uh, also on uh, the flexibility front, uh, the control panel of the Virtuoso platform allows the customers to have the flexibility to customize, configure, um, set up APIs. Um, they, they, can, um, they can fulfill the needs of the unique requirements by, them, by themselves. And as I mentioned, support. Um, we see that businesses need to know how they, that they can rely on their cloud provider. Uh, and the cloud provider needs to be able to provide responsive and effective support when the customer needs it. So this is why we are committed to 24-7 uh, support for all our uh, customers when they need us. Yeah, especially uh, if we're talking about uh, hyperscalers, uh, their way of supporting, uh, they have a huge number of customers and this becomes already some kind of conveyor uh, where they just like next, next, next. So um, many customers, they are looking for this personalization to, to have a face behind uh, this support ticket and to, to have a person to discuss the problem if uh, they need more details and do that as fast as possible for sure, especially if it's about some issues. Uh, yeah, well, and all, all I these... Think that, oh, sorry, yeah. excuse me. I think that it's two things. One is, you know, the transparency, the visibility, that uh, the clients can have through the dashboard of the virtu virtuoso platform so that it, everything is you know very clear and they can understand all these very well and if something goes wrong they also have the 24 7 support from massive grid and virtuoso um, so that that creates a trust we, we have seen that this creates a trust with with our customers and they know that they can rely on that kind of partnership Yep, sure. And um, also all these issues, there are some issues one project can have, there are the other issues the other project have. And within the platform right now, within Massive Grid installation right now, we have a wide variety of different projects running. Uh, so starting from software vendors up to uh, entertainment. Uh, so what you see, what is the uh, main directions uh, you're targeting right now? What kind of customers are coming to you with their demands? Um, so we have customers from all these different sectors and uh, our approach to the market is that the solutions that we deploy and the infrastructures that we build, they need to address um, fundamental needs. And when you address fundamental needs, then uh, you can provide benefits to many different sectors and many different industries because we identify what are, what are these fundamental needs all the other sectors have. Uh, and it's not very hard to do when you're a cloud provider because the fundamental needs are you know, very specific, reliability, security, stability, support, transparency. And then if you cover in a very in a very good way, in a very um, efficient way, all these needs, then these become benefits from for all the sectors. So it, it could be for ISVs and SaaS providers, e-commerce providers that they want reliability and security, um, digital agencies that they want uh, agility, game developers, game development companies that they want reliability, security, uh, also low latency. We are going to talk more about that. We have some examples from uh, game companies, education, which again might need global presence, a solution based on global presence and also security. Finance, highly regulated uh, uh, companies, uh, again, security, IoT, flexibility, scalability, agility, uh, logistics, entertainment, systems integrators. So all these different sectors, they are, they are covered by using the, the same uh, fundamentals. Um, 
I know that we are going to have more details about that down the road, but I would like to point out here that the way that we provide our solutions to the market, and this is what we saw also from our customers as they are using the services, they, they want us to stick with, to provide the fundamental uh, benefits and so that they can build on these fundamental benefits. Sure. And there are like variety of different projects, variety of different problems that projects are facing. And uh, your need was to have one turnkey solution for them, like one turnkey platform to answer all those requests from customers from different spheres. Uh, and I guess that was the path to the Toza in case of uh, massive grid. Yes, that, that, that's right. So we we compared lots of different platform uh, solutions. One of those was uh, Virtuoso back then, many years ago. And um, we saw that Virtuoso provides these benefits, can provide these benefits to our customers, the, the, can, cover, can cover these fundamental needs. Uh, so this platform is designed to speed up development, uh, provide development tools, APIs, pre-built templates, pre-built applications like single-click WordPress deployments, Magento deployments, even single-click WordPress cluster deployments, uh, Magento cluster deployments, which I know that it can be a nightmare in uh, other cloud providers to build um, a full cluster. And you might be able to build it, then you need to test it. Then, if you test it and everything works well, you need to retest it every, I don't know, every quarter, every six months, because something might change on the cloud provider because actually you built it. It's not a solution that comes from the cloud provider. So, you, if you build it, you need to provide the support. Uh, so, these were the differentiating factors uh, that we chose um, Virtuoso to. To, to provide these kind of abilities to uh, to our clients regarding speed up to, of deployment and and simplicity, also the cost factor uh, on on the Virtuoso platform, we have the ability to provide to our clients um, the pay as the, the the pay as you use model. Um, of course, pay as you go is flexible enough, but uh, it can create billing complexities. But pay as you use, so you 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 set it up and and then as you use it, uh, you you can pay, which is a totally different game. And I know that that Yana, you're going to uh, yeah, going provide. To that, sure. Just more. to add here, like yeah, in general, uh, uh, virtual application platform roadmap is built on mainly built on uh, the demands of the customers and our partners, like you. Uh, because uh, all these features that are mentioned here, like as a service features, were added one by one based on the requests of our customers. We started with generic platform as a service, and then we saw, like for instance, uh, okay, our customers are demanding automation of database uh, uh, life cycles and uh, database management. So we moved on to database as a service uh, solutions. Then we saw the rays of Kubernetes and containers, and uh, uh, like we thought, okay, we have demand from uh, container direction uh, and uh, demand from the customers who require Kubernetes. So we added Kubernetes clusters that made it. Uh, then the same situation was with WordPress. Like we saw really huge demand from our clients uh, to have automated way to manage scale and uh, provision WordPress. So we moved in that direction as well. And this is like, Every single feature has some story behind it. And uh, I guess that we can move on right now to some of such stories, like uh, some specific cases, use cases of real customers, real cases and their demands. Maybe you can share, like, because I know that software vendors, software providers, uh, they are like a big part of uh, customers so like that you have on your uh, platform running. Uh, so what kind of issues they were facing and uh, what kind of demands they were coming to you with? What challenges? Yes, so we, we have, uh, we have uh, as we examined the demand from our uh, SaaS providers, we also saw that Virtuoso platform can offer these benefits. 
One, of course, is the resource scaling, which was a critical requirement uh, for, for SaaS providers. And our SaaS providers, they, they, they love the easy resource scaling Virtuoso platform provides. Um, they are able to scale their resources up and down quickly, easily, automatically. Um, and the, the other thing is the reliability and high availability, because when you are a SaaS provider, uh, a fault tolerance, high availability is critical. You cannot go down. You have your clients depending on you. And in case of uh, downtime, you're going to lose revenue, but mostly you're going to have a big, uh, that, that is going to, to, to have a big impact also to your brand's reputation. Um, thirdly, the, the quick provision and the provision of resources is essential for, for uh, our SaaS providers hosted on massive grid. Um, they, they, they want that. They, they, today's SaaS providers, they work on a very agile, uh, uh, using very agile methodology. So they want to be able to uh, provision uh, to provision resources very quickly. And as we mentioned, the, may, the pay as you use pricing model, th this is ideal. Um, they, they need to create lots of environments. They need to test uh, their applications in lots of environments and most of the times in other cloud providers they have seen that their costs rise because they are making lots of deployments and all these are uh, they, they sum up to a very big bill at the end of the month they can do the same on massive grid by using the virtuoso platform but they are not going to be built if so as they have set up their environments, it's going to be a very low cost just for their storage. But if they don't use these environments, they're not going to get built for that. So there is a significant decrease in, um, in the billables for a SaaS provider by using uh, yeah. Pertuoso's platform on massive grid. Sure, we are, we are going to go into more details about that. But to start with, you mentioned uh, provisioning of resources in general, one of the uh, demands. And I think uh, in order to uh, to discuss this topic, we need to explain what kind of virtualization we have in general with virtual application platform and uh, what virtualization types are on the market in general and with what uh, solutions people are coming uh, initially, what they are using right now. So. Um, we can start with application container because this is like a popular thing that got to us with Docker name and with Docker company in general several years ago, like they, they popped up and that was a huge uh, um, massive goal. Uh, so, but uh, uh, again, application container, uh, the container itself, they, they were existing, like they existed for years before, uh, not application containers, but system containers. They were like over 20 years years on the market already, uh, but then Docker came with application container and made a boom. This boom was, uh, the reason was uh, the main one, is that Docker application container made containers more available, more efficient for developers. And uh, at some point earlier, system containers, they were more targeted on the admin guys, on the system uh, admin guys, so they were more on that direction only. Uh, but uh, now, even Docker container cannot run as it is, like uh, it needs either a system container underneath or virtual machine underneath uh, to get proper isolation, to get proper security. Uh, so in terms of virtual application platform, right now we have system containers underneath and uh, we can run Docker containers inside them. And the main difference between uh, system containers and virtual machines is uh, that system containers are more lightweight and they are more scalable. Uh, but at the same time, they are, have pretty high level of security, um, more or less closer to virtual machine than the usual application container uh, here. And this influences resource uh, allocation a lot. So if you are talking about uh, um, running containers and virtual machines uh, the same size um, on the host, we can see this difference in how the resources are going to be uh, provisioned and consumed. With virtual machines, uh, uh, some resources are going to be in use and some resources will be reserved just in case the load grows. 
and those resource, uh, the resources that are reserved, they are going to be kept in that virtual machine and they cannot be shared across other um, projects, across other virtual machines. In terms of um, containers, the resources uh, are available in a specific pool and every container can go and grab the needed resources. And every container can also have like some scaling limits and uh, have some resources uh, as if reserved, but at the same time, uh, this is like much more um, scalable and efficient way to uh, to provision those resources and use from the pool. Um, what do you think in general about this uh, uh, movement in this direction? Like how how you as a service provider may be benefited from this kind of uh, resource uh, uh, provisioning? Um, I think that it's very important to uh, identify these benefits because it's not only that potentially you can have available all these resources, but this is done automatically. This is a very important uh, factor on, on uh, how Virtuoso platform runs, that um, you can set up all the, all the containers that you need and the system automatically will free up the space that is not needed, I mean the resources that are not needed. Um, so that automatic way to just not use the resources that you don't need to use and they, they are available, this is uh, I think a great benefit. Yeah, and again, uh, while running them in this way for you as a service provider, you can place more projects on one host and thus uh, while placing more projects, you can uh, lower down the price because uh, uh, for your customers. So as a result, they can get uh, like better price for them because uh, uh, you can benefit in other way with uh, running their projects. Uh, also, one more thing about that you mentioned that this is done automatically. The resources are provisioned automatically and like taken away or provided when it's needed. And uh, this uh, one direction is also helping with one very like known issue, a uh, right sizing problem. Um, because uh, right now, rather often customers, they can uh, have issues like with the, to decide like, what size of the server, what size of the instance I need to start with and I need in a few months, for instance, where the load is going to be up, when I'm going to have a campaign around Black Friday or something like that, uh, what to expect, what, what kind of size of server I need to not to overpay for unused resources too much, but at the same time not to uh, under allocate resources and have some shortage or downtime. Uh, so uh, how Virtuoso solves this in a way. One of the solutions, again connected with containers, um, is around vertical scaling, automatic vertical scaling. And we can uh, compare how this vertical scaling works in virtual machines to how that works inside containers of Virtuoso. So if you're running the project on virtual machine and you're going to grow it eventually, uh, you need to have like a scaling range, like twice bigger machine, then you need to migrate. Most likely this can lead to some downtimes even. Even if you're going to automate this process not to have like manual headache, uh, still the process is uh, um, some kind of pain, I would say. And uh, uh, at the same time, you're going to overpay anyway because you're still going to buy like twice bigger machine even if you need just a bit more um, resources, just like one gigabyte more resources, uh, but you need to buy more because these are the scaling range of those virtual machines or just because you're not sure whether the load spike is going to be higher or lower uh, at some point. And if you are talking about containers here, uh, in our case, the container itself is resizing. Uh, so the container itself can shrink or can grow when it's required, when the load grows. Uh, so you just uh, set up maximum scaling limit and the system will make the needed changes when it's, uh, when it's necessary. And uh, also there are going to be no downtimes during this process. So do you have any feedback from customers about this kind of um, vertical scaling? Um, we, 
you know, it's interesting that when we are describing and we're talking that with uh, the customers, they, uh, they, they understand uh, that even, you know, if you lack one gigabyte of RAM, you know, something very not expensive at all, but the business impact, because you couldn't scale, uh, because you were on, on a specific server with specific uh, resources, the fact that you couldn't scale for that spike of traffic that was happening for one hour, and you 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 can be a SaaS provider, e-commerce, um, an online shop, um, gaming company, and you 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 faced a, a spike of traffic like for for one hour because of uh, you know some you were on the news or whatever the case was, which is a great opportunity for your business. But since you couldn't scale automatically at that exactly point, uh, that, that caused, that, that had an impact for your business. So even small, uh, even in these uh, occasions that you just need a small resources increase that, you, you cannot have it. And of course, the, the case is even worse if you need to scale more. And um, the ability to automatically size the container uh, is a great benefit for all these uh, occasions. Yeah, in addition to that, the process is really uh, intuitive for customers. They have like just slider to uh, back and forth to set up the maximum scaling limit, and then uh, they're going to have a proper amount of resources when they need them. But at the same time, they're not going to pay for all the scaling range uh, uh, just for the resources the uh, system is going to consume. And basically, this is the second part of solving this right-sizing problem, uh, because uh, as you mentioned, we have this pay-per-use pricing model when the customers, even if they have like scaling limit rather high, they're not going to pay for that limit as it's going to be in the case of virtual machine when you buy full virtual machine, uh, no matter how many resources inside you're consuming. In our case, yeah, only the consumed resources are going to be charged. So, um, yeah, this is like uh, the main differentiation between pay-as-you-go model in case of uh, majority of cloud vendors and uh, virtual machine model. When you grow, as you, as you grow, then you go to the next machine and you pay more. So, yeah, pay-as-you-go, but at the same time, with every step, you still have some kind of overpayment on each virtual machine. In case with pay-as-you-use, you uh, consume all the specific resources with little scaling step that is called cloud-led in our case, and uh, you just pay for those resources only. Yeah, I, I would like to make a point here also that uh, on the diagram, on, uh, on, on this diagram to the, to the right side, where we show how you pay for the usage, most of the expenses that, uh, go out of control um, they are on the situation where you don't need to have all these resources reserved anymore so you you when the traffic grows and okay you can allocate more resources even if you're on a traditional cloud provider you can allocate more resources the traffic is growing it's okay you can spend some more money but then you know after a year or a couple of years then you have multiple environments because you you had you know different tests you you run different experiments on your infrastructure and then you don't need to use all these other resources but you still keep keep them you don't know if you can downsize them you don't know if you can stop them while on on our platform this is done automatically if you're not consuming CPU resources, RAM resources, automatically your bill goes down. Uh, this, is, uh, th this is something that we have done, uh, we have seen uh, many times with our clients. Yeah, uh, we had some cases, for instance, when customers were coming and saying, we are working on some software and uh, we have a bunch of de developers and uh, stage environment that we are using them during the week, but we are not using them on the weekends or at night. 
uh, we still need them, we still need to run those projects and come back to, to work with them um, the next week, but how we can cut it. And uh, we have really good functionality for that, like to have scheduled automated uh, regime of sleep, of hibernation of those projects when they are not needed anymore, and they can be activated automatically as well uh, at the specific time. So, um, yeah, and we even can share some real statistics, uh, real statistics from the platforms, uh, uh, those application platforms across different service providers. Uh, we were measuring uh, what kind of resources and what, what amount of those resources customers are really consuming. And you can see that uh, with the green uh, color. And uh, what was the scaling limit that they were setting up? like just for a case of load spikes or just during the uh, campaigns and they were worried not to have downtime or whatever so they were setting up some scaling limit and this is marked with red line and you can see that in case with running uh, resource running projects on virtual machines uh, they would pay for the whole um, hype here till the red line in case with pay-per-use pricing model and uh, automatic protocol scanning of virtual application platform they are paying only for the green line and it's a huge difference uh, if we compare like these lines yeah and we could we could say that you know when you are just building vms or dedicated servers you usually uh consume the resources that we see on the red line uh, but this is how you build your infrastructure but actually what you use is the is the green line and it's it's also uh we can see it also from an environmental aspect uh, if you are not able to have this kind of flexibility on resources you actually consume more more power more you know more hardware all these have uh have also uh impact in various directions yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah, this is one of the cases when customers are in need of this scalability, are in need of the uh, efficiency, and uh, many customers are in need of that. So, uh, the other use case that uh, we would like to cover today is about high availability, uh, especially if you are talking about e commerce projects. So, uh, Vasilis, can you share the experience that you have with e commerce projects and what they are sure. asking you? yeah so uh, for our e-commerce clients we have seen how uh, reliability and resiliency is very very important for them um, reliability in terms of uptime and eliminating any downtimes which can can be done with high availability and automatic failover uh, mechanisms and uh, virtuoso has built in these mechanisms massive grid has also built in these kind of mechanisms uh, on our infrastructure and uh, then our clients get the best of both worlds they have the high availability and also the, the flexibility and uh, the scalability of the virtuoso platform and also the same from from massive grid so there are no points where the, the, uh, the, the there can something go wrong and you know uh, we we cannot deal with uh, with it uh, specifically for e-commerce, we have seen that uh, reliability is essential for an e-commerce business and of course any downtime hurts the revenues but also can hurt the, the brand reputation. Uh, so uh, this platform is designed to, to provide the high levels of reliability that e-commerce business needs and also we have the option to have uh the the same platform deployed on the on, on multiple uh, data centers around the world uh, of course also security uh, is very important for e-commerce businesses and uh, our clients are very happy the way we uh, we we secure the platform and how we deal with sensitive customer data uh, and then uh, for e-commerce clients that we have and they have global traffic uh, our global reads on multiple data centers where we can deploy their e-commerce platform and, uh, and in, in multiple regions and then the visitors from each uh, part of the world, uh, they can visit the local instance of the platform offering um, 
great uh, low latency, great response time, very good user experience. This is the, the feedback that we get from our e-commerce clients for uh, for the Virtuoso uh, uh, platform. It's yeah. many times e-commerce platforms uh, face lots of challenges of downtime and, and especially uh, scalability. Like we have examples of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, these type of occasions where the opportunity to increase your revenues becomes a very big challenge and maybe downtimes can can really hurt instead of uh, actually providing uh, a good result. Yes, and it's important to be highly available on both infrastructure layer and application layer. So can you share a bit more information about your infrastructure uh, that you are using underneath the tools application platform and how together with our uh, solution you are ensuring uh, customers and like giving them the proper level of high availability on infrastructure layer? Yeah, um, so we we are very proud to have used all this uh, experience that we have for 20 years to build an infrastructure that can run uh, a platform such as Virtuoso in order to provide to our clients the benefits of Virtuoso platform combined with the benefits of Massive Grid in terms of <clears throat> reliability, scalability and security. So we don't just run Virtuoso on uh, a, a classic basic infrastructure. We build our infrastructures that provide high availability and security. And on top of that, we run Virtuoso that provides then scalability on the container level and high availability on the container level. So you have high availability and scalability on the infrastructure level, and then you have the same on the container level. So this gives two layers of uh, resiliency on what you're going to run on top of the, the Virtuoso platform. Our infrastructure is built having in mind that we never have any single point of failure. Everything is redundant, everything runs on failover um, from even the, the servers the platform runs on, the data centers, the networks, the internet providers, and uh, I would like to mention that we only use tier one internet providers. So we get directly connected to, let's say, the internet backbone. We provide the best resilience in our networks and reliability, the, the best latency um, our clients can, uh, can uh, experience our low latency network. And then if the Virtuoso platform needs more resources from our infrastructure, we have the ability to scale our infrastructure also uh, online. Uh, so uh, we, we have the ability to infinitely scale the infrastructure as our customers use more and more the Virtuoso platform uh, on top. Uh, based on the on a question that I just saw, uh, the infrastructure is based on KVM. Uh, we have also optimized um, uh, for for Windows uh, uh, VMs that run on our infrastructure. In terms of performance, we have uh, solved some challenges that we had we had there in the past. Uh, also, I would like to mention that our solution is replicable in 200 locations around the world. And we have also private Virtuoso uh, platform installations. Um, so we then we provide the isolation needed for uh, clients that they need private installation. And actually, they get all the benefits of Virtuoso, all the benefits of Massive Grid, and the isolation of a, a private cloud uh, installation that they can uh, fully uh, control and manage. Yeah, that's that's perfect. And by the way, you mentioned KVM as the hypervisor uh, that is used uh, with um, also uh, containers. And we had a question about that uh, in the uh, chat right now. Like, uh, what what is the hypervisor uh, now? And like, what is used? Yes, we have a KVM-based hypervisor, but it's pushed. It's like um, upgraded version of it. We have lots of uh, tuning into that. Like, uh, it has. 
created with ops. It had snapshots for QVM. Uh, it also has uh, uh, Microsoft uh, assigned virtual drivers and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, this is, this is for, for the answer there. Uh, yeah, so we have solved uh, all these challenges that uh, the, the, uh, many clients have experienced uh, slow performance on Windows on on KVM, but all these have been patched and uh, have been have been solved. Yes, that's true. That's true. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, talking about high availability in the infrastructure layer. But uh, as I mentioned. It's important also to be safe on the um, application layer. And uh, um, for that, we have a set of functionality for the clusterization uh, to get this high availability on the application servers layer, on the database layer, like with the replication, uh, on the load balancing, and so on and so forth. And um, that would be good to move to the dashboard, to the panel, and show how that works in reality. What what is that? What we are providing? So let me change the screen. Do you see the dashboard? Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, this is the UI of uh, Virtual Application Platform, but uh, um, it's also, as you see, white labeled with massive grid brand because uh, this uh, this is uh, uh, the platform provided uh, uh, um, by massive grid. So as I mentioned, uh, within uh, the platform, we provide different layers of uh, high availability uh, and uh, also application layer as well. Uh, so if you're talking about uh, application uh, servers, first of all, they can be scaled horizontally as needed. Also, we have automatic uh, clustering that can be enabled for uh, specific servers, as well as you notice while scaling load balancing was added automatically uh, to distribute the traffic across all these uh, servers. In addition to that, especially if you're talking about uh, um, uh, automation of database uh, experience. Uh, we have different databases uh, uh, supported, SQL and NoSQL uh, databases, and uh, within them you have a choice to enable automatic clustering. So basically you're going to have a, a database already replicated in the needed mode. You can choose like primary, 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 secondary, or even Galera cluster and uh, you know, just uh, click it you see the, the resources were changed uh, we have a specific number of resources already tuned inside based on the uh, um, experience based on the testing that we've done like what is the proper amount to get started with uh, also you see that uh, we've got like three database uh, servers appeared here and you see that we've got proxy SQL appeared as a proxy server for this database replication and uh, nothing else is needed from the customer to do just like name your environment and click create uh, that's it as a result uh, no need to be like uh, deeply experted like in database replication and everything you can just do this uh, from the topology clicking several buttons in addition to that we have marketplace uh, and the, within this marketplace uh, there are different applications that are already pre-packaged for automated installation and uh, uh, you can just choose with what package to go. And we have also some clustered uh, applications here. For instance, WordPress cluster. As I was uh, telling at the beginning, uh, we had uh, uh, many requests from customers to uh, have a proper experience with WordPress. This is like WordPress is right now like number one CMS in this direction. And uh, we created a set of packages that can be installed just like in one click with all needed uh, um, setup inside. For instance, you can go with Lightspeed server inside or you can go with the Nginx server if needed. You can um, enable cluster, fast cluster, uh, or even enable from scratch multi-site network, uh, install WooCommerce inside if required. 
Also, we provide a set of scaling strategies. So if you want to, if you plan to have like smaller size uh, uh, site and like just to start with, you can go with low load, then go to the medium load or high load. If you have highly um, loaded um, environment, highly loaded project. Uh, so this scaling strategy will enable automatic scaling for your project uh, within this WordPress cluster. So as soon as the load is going up, um, you are going to receive the needed resources and the new nodes, not only vertical scaling, but also horizontal scaling. The new nodes for application servers are going to be added automatically. And then if the load goes down, these like, one, two, or several nodes are going to be taken away and reconfigured properly. So the environment is going to work and your customers are not going to notice anything. Nothing is going to be noticeable like uh, from the customer perspective. Uh, so as a result, also you can choose to what region you want to deploy this application. Because uh, um, in case with Massive Grid, uh, they have several data centers available, and uh, you can choose like uh, uh, in what country, in what data center you want to run your WordPress. Uh, same for Kubernetes cluster. Like we have uh, um, also interest from container technology people and like uh, in general in Kubernetes direction. And uh, we provide automated installation of Kubernetes cluster. This can be uh, like development uh, topology or production topology. In terms of development, you will have just like less uh, uh, control planes and uh, workers. In terms of uh, production, you will have more highly available uh, option. And you can go with clean cluster and then deploy whatever you need inside, or you can go with custom one uh, where you will get open liberty already pre-configured inside. And yeah, you can you have a choice of versions, you have a choice of ingress controllers, uh, you have a choice of Kubernetes dashboard to manage it properly afterwards. And also you can enable different modules like uh, for um, monitoring, like Prometheus and Grafana, um, Jaeger tracing tool, and uh, also API access, remote API access. Again, just rename your environment as you wish and go up and running. Install and you get it like in a few minutes. Uh, anything to add here, Vasilis? Yes, I would like to add the transparency that uh, the platform provides. Uh, so uh, uh, our clients can really see and understand that, you know, it's that kind of web server, it's that kind of load balancer, this is how it works. They can even go and make any configura configurations, configuration changes they need. They don't have to, but if they want to deep dive, they have the ability to do that. Um, so this is one an important feedback that we get from our clients uh, regarding the transparency. Also, this platform is being provided um, a white label to massive grid resellers. Uh, we have many resellers that uh, they they use this kind of platform for their own uh, clients. And uh, as Massive Grid, we also support the uh, reselling functionality and we do all the customizations. Um, we, we add their logos and we do the, the customization and we make sure that their platform um, uh, works and we support them on second and th third level. Yes, and uh, while you were sharing these details, I just wanted to add as well, like uh, the option for automatic horizontal scaling that is available, that you just set up how many nodes should be added or removed based on the specific load uh, uh, traffic. Like if the load is uh, higher than 80% or if the load is uh, uh, lower than 20%, then you either add nodes or delete them and you can choose what kind of nodes you want to add within the environment, what kind of resource, based on what kind of resources uh, uh, they are. So um, here's the, um, um, like the, the general look how, how it goes uh, with horizontal scaling within virtual. And uh, um, yeah, one more 
use case, I would say, like that we would like to, to cover today. And for that, uh, maybe I will come back to the previous uh, um, presentation that we were sharing. Uh, yes, we, we have one more uh, case. We, um, a, a part of our, sorry? Do you, see, do you see, by the way, the screen of the presentation? Oh, yes. Right? Okay, yes. perfect. Um, so we have, uh, we want to discuss about the case of uh, gaming companies. We have one part of our clientele is gaming companies, and we have seen how uh, important it is for them to have the ability to scale globally and uh, deploy their platforms and their applications in different regions to gain from uh, the low latency abilities that we, we offer. Um, latency is crucial for gaming and also security. We have seen uh, lots of security challenges that uh, companies face and they, they come to massive grid because we have a very, uh, very good denial of service protection. Usually they get hit they get hit from DDoS attacks. So we have, um, we, we provide them with this kind of, of security on the network level, and then they have the scalability of uh, the, the uh, Virtuoso platform and the multi-region uh, deployment uh, where they can benefit from our low latency network because of um, the tier one providers that we're using, but also because of the geographical, uh, the, the, their choice to strategically choose uh, geographic locations closer to, uh, to their users. And our multi-region deployment, which is available also on the public cloud, on these regions that we see here, um, United States, UK, Germany, and Singapore. These are our public cloud locations. We, anyone can go to massivegrid.com and deploy instantaneously anything they want uh, on these regions. We also have uh, a private uh, cloud deployments, and we, we deploy this for private clients anywhere in the world we support more than 200 locations and these deployments can also offer disaster recovery and uh, high availability between uh, the, the data centers this is something that is being supported by massive grid infrastructure but also on the virtuoso platform so the users can uh, use these abilities by themselves on a very easy single uh, dashboard where they can control um, all their deployments and all their environments. Yes, that's uh, that's a good point. Yeah, as I was mentioning that before, that while creating the environment, the customer is uh, like you have an opportunity to choose where you want to uh, to install it. Also, then when you already have your environments running, you have an option to migrate from one region to the other region. That's required. Like if you decided, okay, uh, or for instance, one region can have like. Uh, lower price and you decided okay this is more appropriate for my development project to run it and to develop it on that uh, infrastructure on that data center but then when it's production ready and uh, you understand that your customer is allocated in united states for instance uh, um, you like just migrate your project to united states uh, data center and uh, run production ready uh, solution there <clears throat> and uh, we right. had some Yep. Exactly, yes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we had some questions around marketplace <clears throat> uh, from the audience. Uh, one question was, uh, do you have any plans to add the ERP Next open source ERP system on uh, Virtuoso Marketplace? Um, I cannot say that I'm, I've heard about like, this specific tool uh, to be added, but uh, the amount of uh, different projects that are here um, is uh, totally based on the request of the customers. If we see the demand, uh, we are planning and we are adding this or that uh, tool. So um, you can send the request to your service provider where you are running your projects and uh, um, the more requests like that we are getting, the higher the priority is getting. The other point is uh, that even you can do that yourself, especially if uh, um, 
if you are connected with this company, for instance, and this uh, package it can be done like this solution can be packaged with the help of cloud scripting. This is a scripting language uh, used uh, by Virtuoso and created by Virtuoso. And all these marketplace packages, they were done with the, with the help of this uh, cloud scripting tool. And uh, while doing this uh, uh, cloud scripting tool, you can just package it as a JPS, we call them, or you can have it uh, in your repository and then just add the URL to this uh, uh, package and import this package for the installation, also for the uh, automated uh, uh, installation of this tool. Tatiana, we had, uh, we, we had cases like that uh, in, in the past where um, before having the ability to deploy um, high availability cluster, database clusters in the marketplace, we had built this kind of, uh, we had some requests from our clients and we just built that, given the ability that we have with JPS, we built that uh, ability. So even if the, the uh, Virtuoso marketplace didn't have that ability, but we, we built it for, for our uh, clients and this is, one other important factor for us, uh, we are not limited by the platform. The platform provides um, very good abilities, out of the box, single click installations, um, has a very beautiful interface. Our clients really enjoy it and they have everything uh, under one dashboard and they can control everything. And also does not limit our clients or us on um, um, on extending the, the functionalities. So to, exactly to your point, we had that case in the past where our clients were requesting some database clusters and we built the JPS and they had then available the database clusters for single click installation. We don't need to, to do that today because these are added into the, the marketplace so uh, they are available for everyone. Uh, yes, and uh, by the way, you just answered uh, the other question that we had because the question was, is Marketplace the same for all Virtuoso partners? No, it is not. It, it doesn't have to. <laughs> yeah. We provide base. We provide like default number of uh, applications that are demanded across different platforms. We understand uh, that people need them. We tune them. We uh, keep an eye on them to, to make them up to date. But every partner, every service provider has a possibility with this cloud scripting that I was mentioning, has a possibility to uh, to make their own packages and add them to the marketplace because uh, every service provider has their own UI, their own admin panel, where they just with the click of button as well as like here, like very similar to that, they can add extra packages and make them available within their own marketplace. And uh, for sure, if we see that this or that package created by the partner is uh, popular, is getting popularity, we can discuss in order to make it available across all the uh, partners as well, if, uh, if uh, that works for everyone. Okay, and by the way, uh, before we were talking about multi-region uh, and uh, uh, several data centers, I just wanted to also share one more package that we have within the marketplace. This is like multi-region WordPress cluster where you can create, uh, um, uh, install several, uh, several WordPress installations on like several different uh, regions, data centers at once, and all of them are going to be connected and synchronized. So this is going to provide not only application layer, uh, you know, high availability, uh, like for to have like uh, application servers uh, uh, connected and cluster to have databases uh, uh, connected, but also infrastructure layer uh, high availability because uh, these inst instances are going to be distributed across several data centers and they are going to be automatically synchronized and connected to each other. So that is also a good point to highlight. And we also have one more uh, question and we are getting out of time already, like we are over top. But uh, as we have one more question, I would like to, uh, to present it. Do you recommend uh, for multimedia streaming service like OTT, like live streaming? Do you have any comments on that, Vasilis? Uh, yes, that's that's uh, 
that's something that uh, I think we already have clients on that areas and they benefit also from our low latency network. So they have the flexibility in the dashboard functionalities Bertozo gives, and then the scalability and the low latency of the uh, massive grid infrastructure. So I think it's a, a great uh, case for these kind of providers. Uh, yeah, for, for I understand that live streaming usually uh, um, requires some extra attention, I would say. Uh, but again, like considering all these infrastructure level, high availability, also like live migration that can be used while maintaining uh, some uh, um, some containers and something like that. And all this live migration can help like even to live migrate uh, containers while live stream is going on and the customers are not going to be uh, in downtime or like uh, in uh, uh, any kind of trouble. So, uh, but uh, for sure, this kind of case is also covered and can be run on the virtual application platform uh, with the service providers like Massive Grid. That's that's true. Uh, so, as I was promising, we have some good point to cover. Okay, um, I open not the right one, this one. We have a good offer for you today, and uh, this offer is from Massive Grid, like two offers in one, I would say. Uh, so, for that, we will ask CMO of Massive Grid to give them a bit more details. Panayotis, can you share? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, uh, thank you, first of all, for joining us today. Um, so as a small token of our um, appreciation, we would like to offer you two months uh, free trial so you can experience the ecosystem that we just presented to you, uh, the great user interface. And if you, if, even if you have um, a pass, um, account uh, from another cloud provider, we will be happy to double the credits. Uh, you just need to scan the QR code and you can um, also um, just um, subscribe, insert your email and we can uh, send you the instructions on how we can double you the, your credits. Or if you if you have any challenge, uh, particular to your business, you can send us a message, and we will be happy to reply to your challenge. So um, thank you again for joining us today, and feel free to send us any questions. Yeah, great. Thank you. That's that's a good offer, and uh, I think that uh, you guys can benefit with trying on for free and even getting some funds on top. Like, so why not to go and try it today? Like, just use uh, the barcode and the the QR code. And we have extra questions, so we will use a bit more time. Like. Uh, for, for questions uh, here. Uh, the question that we have, what we saw here is Jelastic or what is the product behind? Uh, yes, uh, this is X Jelastic and uh, you might not know the news, uh, but last year, like year, a year and something ago, yes, uh, Jelastic was acquired by Virtuoso. And now Jelastic is a part of uh, uh, Virtuoso team, Virtuoso product solution, and uh, we are keep developing it. And this uh, Jelastic became like uh, a big part of Virtuoso family. Uh, so we keep moving in this direction, platform as a service, DevOps automation, WordPress as a service, uh, Kubernetes and everything. So um, if you've heard about Jelastic, now you can associate us with Virtuoso application platform name. Good. Any other questions? I guess we also have a question about uh, private cloud installations. Uh, so the question is uh, whether um, the customer can get private cloud installation or virtual private cloud installation within the massive grid. So yes. Yes, um, we we already have deployments, uh, private cloud deployments, and uh, there are either private cloud deployments for clients or private cloud deployments for resellers, for our partners that they want a white label solution with their own logo to provide that to their uh, to their uh, uh, to their customers. Uh, so we 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 support these kind of installations, and then 
the clients can get um, an isolated environment that runs on their own private cloud with all the functionalities and the abilities of the Virtuoso platform. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, that's a, that's a good um, thing to, to have because, for instance, uh, uh, if you need more isolated environment, if you're working on a big project and you need uh, like your own even admin panel to get into to that, to, to manage in some way on the infrastructure, like a bit some level of management, this can be also a good option to have virtual private cloud within massive reads uh, uh, or within any service provider with virtual application platform. And also the same case uh, uh, of the installation, like getting a separate region installed for you specifically can be a good case for the resellers. So uh, basically if you're a reselling service provider, and uh, either you don't have your own infrastructure for this installation, or you understand that for now, you're not ready to have a full installation of Virtuoso application platform, but you see um, the demand from the customers and you see that you can benefit from selling such projects, such uh, solutions. Uh, you can come to a massive grid team or to Virtuoso team and request reselling option to become one of the resellers uh, within the already existing installation on top of massive grid great yeah i think uh, tatiana the point that you made regarding regions because for private uh, installations we support uh, 200 locations around the world uh, so the the, uh, the clients can choose the specific region they want for their private uh, deployment we also support deployments on clients premises if uh, if this is uh, something that the client requires yeah yeah that's perfect that's great thank you thank you Vasilius. i guess that we don't have any other questions uh, uh, guys if you're going to have any extra questions afterwards feel free to contact uh, uh, virtuals or to contact massive grid we also have the links to to the landing pages where you can grab more information about the products and solutions and also get in touch with our teams uh, thank you everyone for joining thank you Vasilis, to be a part of this webinar we are really glad to have you uh, today on this conversation let's keep up and uh, have more conversations like that in the future and guys don't forget about the offer Go to Massacrete using the code and enjoy new future, the, the platform of the future, cloud platform of the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone.